I have this beautiful piece of alder that I've had just sitting around my shop for about a year. <laughs> this isn't one whole piece, it's two pieces glued together of a quarter alder. And um, so I'm gonna be turning this thing into a Farkle dice throwing tray. I think that's right. <laughs> um, and the thing that's gonna make it unique is that obviously it's gonna be hand turned and it's going to be laser engraved on the inside where all the rules and stuff are gonna be put. So I've been wanting to do this for a while. I think it'll be a good selling item on my Etsy and just a good all around gift. So let's get to it. So I've seen a couple of these trays on Etsy and things like that put out by other people, but I wanted to put my own twist on it, so of course I'm going to turn my tray. One of the main reasons that I'm turning the tray is, well, because I don't have a CNC to cut it out, and I don't want to take the time to route the whole thing out with a bull bit and a router. Plus. I think I'm pretty good at turning and I think I can make this thing look pretty good and it's kind of a selling point I think to say that it's a hand turned tray. Again the wood that I'm using here is alder. I really do enjoy working with alder. It's soft and durable and it carves really easily. Alder is actually the very first wood that I ever turned on a lathe. And it's one of the woods that I always recommend to people when they are getting into turning because it's very forgivable, but it holds its shape really well. Again, it cuts really nicely and it's just a really good wood to learn with. The tools that I like to use and I prefer are carbide tip tools. My tool set is from Simple Wood Turning Tools and I love it. I recommend it to everybody because it is super easy and super quick to get into turning with these tools. Random question, what is your favorite wood to turn and why? I'm really interested because I feel like wood turners have a very good diversity of wood to turn um, and it varies so I'm interested to hear let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it besides the lasering getting this thing flat on the bottom was my biggest concern because when I do get it on the laser I don't want there to be any surprises with curves or dips or valleys or whatever I want it to be flat and I want it to just go as smooth as possible which I think I did I felt pretty good about it and there's nothing left to do but to laser it and man this was for some reason really nerve-wracking I think the thing that made me so nervous about it was the fact that if I mess up with the laser on this, it's not like I could just sand it off because it's it's not going to go back to the same shape that it was. So I would essentially have to return the whole thing. But luckily, I'm pretty sure I nailed it. I babysat the laser a lot, constantly checking in on it and making sure that everything was going smooth. And I think it came out pretty good. I'm using the Ortur Laser Master 2, and this thing just does a phenomenal job. Everything I've thrown at it so far has come out very nice. It burns very well, and it's super easy to work with. Of course, to finish this bad boy up, we're going to be using the Wally Sauce, uh, Walrus Oils, Cutting Board Oil, and of course, this oil is just going to bring this piece to life. I find it so interesting how light alder can look and then you throw some oil on there and it just gets 
nice and dark and red and it's just beautiful and make sure you guys swing by walrusoil.com pick up some merch pick up some oil pick up whatever you want just make sure that you use my discount code at the checkout it lets them know that i sent you and you get 10 percent off your order i had a lot of fun making this thing it was made on a whim and i just kind of got to use my creativity to come up with it um the only hard part I would say was the laser engraving and figuring that out, but I'm really getting the hang of that laser and I'm really starting to enjoy it. Let me know what you guys thought of this project and if you want to see more, don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe. That's it for me. Be good, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!